Hey, thanks once again for checking out our video. Today we are going back once again to Microscale or the Micropolis standard. In today's video, we're going to go over basic street layout and how to make simple vehicles such as cars and trucks. Our last video, we covered how to build our base. So we're going to take the base that we built and we are going to focus on the edges of two sides for the roads. This is the standard road layout. Two studs for the street, one stud for the sidewalk, and one stud for the alley in the back. I like to start with the middle of the intersection with a 2x2 two two black tile, then followed by a 1x2 black tile. Sometimes I have arrows on them. And then we have a 1x2 white crosswalk to allow pedestrians to cross the intersection safely. I also use on the roadway solid black tiles and then one by two jumpers that allow to have vehicles to attach to the road and not slide off. Next we have our sidewalk which is a strip of light bluish gray one by tiles and then a back alley which is a dark bluish gray strip of one by tiles. I decided to have a water fountain at the intersection in front of this building that's to be built here. And so I had a two by two jumper light bluish gray and I put a trans blue and a regular blue round tile on top of each other for a fountain for the intersection. Next we're gonna talk about simple vehicle builds to populate your streets. One of the most simple cars that you can make is a one by two jumper that has either a round tile or a square one by one tile placed on top. Looks like a tiny car. Our truck is a fairly simple build as well. It's a one by three plate and then I put a one by two on the back for the bed of the truck followed by a tile and then a small cheese wedge that goes along the front for the cab of the truck. While you don't have to have the jumpers to place your vehicles, I do find that it is easier to snap them onto the roadway and that way you do not have to worry about losing a vehicle on way to a display. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and tell me down in the comments below what you'd like to see next. Thank you.